Hi, I'm Barry. This is Mega City Gaming, and this is another Waste Man Battle Report. This is part two. If you haven't seen Atomic Schlong, that's part one. This is part two. Right, let's see what this is all about. One day in the wasteland. Damn it, cars at it. <laughs> What the f... Where'd you come from? <coughs> Never mind that. You looking for a ride? Yeah, I am as it happens. <coughs> Dave got one. It's in the hangar bay. The glory mole. It's not guarded, but you better be quick. The airlock code is one, 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 one. Those devious... Bastards! <laughs> Here's the table. So it's a aircraft hangar, not an aircraft hangar, a, a hangar of a spacecraft, and obviously the spacecraft goes off in those directions. But we're only interested in this area because it has, yeah, the glory mole, <laughs> and. We got uh, some interested parties who want to take that glory mole and make good use of it. Um, we've got Jimmy the Fist here with Fugly Betty, and up the front there's Big Boy, One Pack, and Freddo. So mutants basically uh, going to take this. So mutant gang is going to take this away. Um, but the denizens of the spaceship will not take that lying down. They're quite fond of the glory hole, as you can imagine. It gets lonely in space. And uh, basically, at the end of every turn, I'm going to uh, draw a card and see, um, see who turns up, and also roll a dice to see where they turn up. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And if it's seven, eight, nine, ten, nothing happens. So, basically, something turns up at the end of every turn. And the heroes, as in the mutants, have to spend uh, eight actions within one inch of this to get it started. And they, then they have to all pile on by spending an action each and then drive it out the door. When the vehicle is completely past the door, then <clears throat> the mission is complete. Um, that's about it, really. Uh, right, let's do it. Right, uh, first turn, obviously there are no hostiles on the board yet. These guys have to open the door. It takes one action to open the door within one inch. Um, I forgot to mention there's a vending machine over here because even space denizens need their sploosh. Right, uh, so yeah, pull out an activation token. Uh, obviously it's these guys because there's no one else yet. and. Let's have uh, Fredo. So, no, let's have yeah. Let's have no, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Big boy, big boy. You're within one inch. Big boy, open the door. There it is. Airlock is open. Right. Uh, that's his first action. Second action, obviously, is to move inside. Is there any cover? Yeah, you can get behind that screen. He's quite big though, so I don't think that screen's going to help much, except if someone comes in from here. Anyway, he's been. Uh, next, we'll have one pack. One pack, you got two actions. Do, do, do. So it's a 10 inch run, basically. Uh, 10 inch run. Gets you about there. Right, next, big boy. Oh, that was big boy, sorry. <laughs> Let's have uh, Freddo. Okay, Freddo's gonna bring up the rear. He's quite fond of that. Um, Fugly Betty, two actions. Right. 
she's not so gung ho as the others. She's got a two inch range. Let's get her, let's get her behind this one for the moment. Behind that terminal. And then Jimmy the Fist, he's got three actions, which is quite valuable in a mission that spends actions to accomplish a goal. So he's, yeah, he's gonna get right up. He's gonna be the, the glory mole whisperer and start patting it and whispering into its uh, lug and saying, please start. There we go. Right, now it's the end of the turn. We're going to roll to see if anyone turns up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's nothing happens. Right. That's a three. One, two, three. So we get some action. Right. Uh, let's see who comes. Who comes? Anyone good? Let's pull a card. Any card? Master of Ceremonies. Right, obviously he appears behind the door. He's just punched the panel to open it. Right, so he gets an activation token into the bag. Right. So, uh, Master of Ceremonies, he's uh, literally just doing his rounds, you know, thinking of getting a can of sploosh out of the old vending machine. And of course, because it's five to one at the moment, um, we've got, we pull a mutant activation token. So this being a, a time sensitive mission, Jimmy the Fist is gonna spend all three actions to uh, whisper into the lug of the uh, glory mole. Yes. Next. Right, we pull another token. Right, it's mutants again, of course. Um, right, right. Let's have. So, big boy, big boy. Big boy's uh, going to. He's got like two actions. He's going to move. Can you see from there? Yes, he can. So he's going to move to here. It's about five inches and he's going to shoot. Because why not? Uh, he's got a mini gun. So that's range 15. That's plenty of space. Uh, power seven. Right, that's power seven against armor three. And it's two shots. So it's three up on two shots. Okay, that's a one hit. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. That's an eight. I believe that is serious injury. Right, serious injury. Bleh. Okay, he's down, he's down. That's great, good start. Next up, next up, it's, oh. It's this guy, but he's seriously injured, he's down and out, so nothing, nothing, nothing I'll tell you. Next, mutants, mutants, uh, Foggy Betty, you're there. Right, Foggy Betty, let's get you into the fray. We do actually all want to get inside the vehicle as soon as it starts, so here we go. You're there, Foggy Betty, yes, yes you are. Next. Okay, one pack. Uh, nothing to shoot at, so again, one pack's gonna go here. Uh, yeah, because it's more likely to get trouble from this side than that side. And this one, Freddo. Yeah, you're gonna go here as well. So you're all gathered round you all gathered round. Okay, end of turn. Tokens go back into the sack, yakety sacks. And random door opens, or random person shows up from a door. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This one. Right, and uh, let's see who turns up in this door. Right, here we go. Eyeball man. Eyeball man with a gun. Right, so open goes in the bag. Eyeball man. Eyeball man. Right. He's, he's, uh, he gets two attacks per action. And he's wielding an Uzi. So that's range eight. Right. Okay, Master Seminus is out. Do, 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 actually, what was that mean? Thing. Right, I've decided on the spur of the moment that uh, if, for example, something dies like this, uh, it gets back put back into the pool, into the deck of uh, things that can turn up because this is a huge spacecraft, and uh, you know. Anyway, right. Diddle -a -doo. next. Right, it is the mutant. Mutants. Right. Uh, another thing I did mention is as soon as four actions have been spent to get this started, then the car alarm goes off. And then everyone in the spaceship is alerted and all the doors open at the same time. Yeah, immediately. So, but of course, that's what we're going to do anyway. So let's have. Um, Jimmy the Fist, you spend your first action to do that. And then all the doors open, all the remaining doors open. So one, two, three, four. Um, so let's have a go at this one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a bit stiff that one. Right. And that will be, okay, that'll be the Joker's Clowns. Of which there are a lot. One, two, three, four, five. There's five of them, yeah? But they don't have range weapons. Right, next one. This is, again, Joker's Clowns. But these have, there's only two of them, but these have ranged weapons. They have uh, gacked guns. <laughs> and the last one, yeah, what these guys got put back. Du -du -du. Master of Ceremonies, these don't have ranged weapons. There we go. Because they walk around the ship, they don't walk around with their guns on them, um, you know, when they're going to the bathroom or working out in the gym, whatever, or both. And, uh, but there are, of course, uh, fire axes and stuff like that, that they just pull off the wall and, uh, anyway, there we go, let's do it. Right, so I'll put these tokens back in, or into the sack. So now, it's, uh, it was a one-sided fight, but now I think they're way outnumbered, yeah way outnumbered so they're kind of desperate however uh jimmy the fist hasn't quite finished so he's still got two more actions which of course he's going to whisper furiously into the lug hole of the glory hole glory mole sorry i don't know where that came from glory mole and um, to get uh it up to six so two more actions need to be spent to get that uh, get that started and then they all need to get in there get in there right oh look oh oh it's the uh the denizens of the spaceship denizens right so the clowns have a range of eight the ones that have guns have a range of eight right not quite there Right, clowns. First action, these clowns 
bleeding clowns are going to get behind the cover as you would you know lots of crates and stuff festooning the deck and uh, then they're going to shoot 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 for their second action so da, da, da. that's a gap that's one shot power four right one shot power four they're going to shoot big boy of course biggest target right power four armor three six up two dice because there's two gentlemen that's a one hit let's see what happens to That's a two! No, oh, no! Big boy's down! Big boy's down! He's dead! <laughs> wow! That was a lucky shot. Yeah, he's a mutant, so he can ignore crippled or serious injury on a D10 roll of a 10. But unfortunately, he's dead. You can't ignore that. It's not something you can ignore. Right, so big boy, take your token out of the bag. Actually, no, don't take your token out of the bag, do I? It doesn't doesn't work like that, does it? It's a different game. What am I talking about? Next. Right, that, that was a Joker's Clown. Next. That was quite good. Well done, Joker's Clowns. Right. Now, it's the denizens of the spacecraft. Right. Eyeball pull. Eyeball pull. Right, have you got anything funky? Two attacks per action. Right. Right, okay, first action, same as the other guys, move up behind cover. Second action, you're going to go for one pack. So, one pack's got armor two, power three, armor two, seven up, seven up with two shots, seven up with two shots. Ow! It's one hit, let's see what happens. Uh, that's a five. That's a five, and a five is crippled. Right, because one pack is a mutant, he can ignore crippled or serious injury roll of a ten. He doesn't quite get it, he gets a nine. So, one pack is unfortunately crippled. Right, let's put a nice crippled token next to one pack. There you are. Sorry, one pack, not your day, is it? Right, next. Right, let's, let's put this. Uh, right, next. Oh, it's the mutant. Mutants, right. Okay, we need to get this thing started. Uh, we need to get this thing started. So, who are we going to do? Who are we going to do? Oh, one pack, you're, you've been nobbled. Um, Mind you, Foggy Betty. Mind you, one pack. One pack. No, mind you, Foggy Betty. Foggy Betty. Foggy Betty. Use your actions. Get out to eight. Okay. It started. It started. Yeah. Right. Well done. Now, every other person. Mutant is going to try and get on there now. Right. It is. Yeah. It's them, it's the denizens, the denizens, the denizens, the denizens, the denizens, den 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 denizens. Right. Denizens. 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 Right, let's have these clowns. Of course, they can only get to here. There's a lot of them though. Wielding pipes, fists, and axes, and such like. Right, they got range. Oh, they got range one, so they can't quite get Fugly Betty. Never mind. Never mind. Who's next? Oh, it's the mutants. Mutants. Okay, one pack. One pack, you've been hobbled. So you're going to shoot and then get in the car. So first action is to shoot. So power five, but that goes to four because he's crippled. Uh, power four versus 
eyeball pull eyeball pulls armor uh, armor two. That's a five up. And does he get two shots? No, it's a five up with one shot. Five up with one shot. That's a hit. Okay, eyeball pull. Eyeball pull, you are slightly surprised. Yeah, that's all you get. You get, you get slightly surprised. There we go. Dun dun dun. Right, okay, eyeball pull. That, that's still quite good. And then one pack is going to get in the car. He's going to get in the car. He's getting in the car with his gammy leg or arm or head. Right, next. We really do need to get out of there, right? Oh, it's the mutant mutant. Right, it hasn't been master ceremonies, haven't been. They're over there, aren't they? Right, they can get to there. Right, again, not quite within range to do anything, unfortunately. Wow, it's right on the cusp, on the edge, on the periphery, on the rim. There we go. We've got uh, Mutant Mutants. Freddo. Freddo, shoot and then get in the car, yeah? Right, you've got two attacks per action. Two attacks per action. Right. Two attacks per action. And that is power three against armor three. Power three, armor three, seven up, seven up, seven up, seven up. Right, that's one hit. See what happens. That's a nine. <laughs> Seriously injured. Whoa, how fortunate. That's great. That's great. Right. And then your second action, Fredo, is to get into the car. Get in the car. Right. Whew. Then it's getting the. Yeah, you know. Next. Right, it's the mutants again. Big boy's down, but we are desperate. Desperate, I tells you. Desperate. Right. Uh, let's see. Foggy Bet has got almost no armor. She's wearing a boob tube. Boob tube. So she's getting in. Uh, oh, because she's got range two. So she can attack and then get in the car. First action to attack. Uh, and she's got boom. So she can attack this guy and attack basically all of these. Wow, she's insane. Right, there we go. So power four versus armor two. Power four, armor two, that's a five up. It's a five up. So she rolls one dice for each of these. So five up on the first one. Uh, it's a seven, that's a hit. Da, da, da. It's a hit. Uh, so see what happens to the first one. That's a four. Oh, they're 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 a group, so they're all they're all spooked. Um, second one. Let's get a spook token. Ah, dropped a bloody wall on the floor. That was my favourite wall. That was right. Anyway, they are spooked as a group. Second uh, guy. That's an eight. That's a hit. I, I think it was a five up. Uh, let me just check. Yes. Right. That's a hit. That's a three. Okay. Spooked. They're still spooked. Uh, next guy. That's a four. That's a miss. Next guy. That's a seven. That's a hit. And a five is crippled. Okay. So they, as a whole, as a group, are crippled and then this guy that's a six that's a hit and that's a nine that's a serious injured so basically one one's dead basically or down right so we've yeah been quite effective right foggy betty your second action is to get into the car right foggy betty is now in the car right the only guy remaining is big boy not big boy sorry uh jimmy the fist jimmy the fist is still out and about Right. However, unfortunately, this one of these guys is going to reactivate. Yeah. So the denizens will reactivate 
and I think it's going to be this guy he's not crippled he's not spooked and he's quite effective I think with his axe so he's going to spend one action to move up and his second action second trick is to attack with his axe so that's power three versus armor four I didn't realize Jimmy had armor four that's an eight up okay so not quite as effective as I thought but uh, okay safe that was lucky because it's got ripper so it would have would have hurt slightly okay let's put these tokens back in the bag yucky sacks yucky sacks and we'll see if Jimmy the fist can get into the car the glory mole Jimmy the fist gets in the glory mole I hope and then it, we can see some ramming action because it's going to obviously drive straight through those guys. <laughs> That'll be fun, won't it? Right. Oh no! No! Right. Oh dear. Okay, let's have. Uh, I guess these guys because they're spooked, they're crippled, they can move three. Right, they're spooked. One action to get rid of spooked. Second action to move up three inches because they're crippled. Right, that's the second action. Third action to attack. Third action is to attack. B. So... They are Joker's Clowns. Power 3, which is power 2 because they're crippled, versus armor 4. Power 2, armor 4. That's a 9 up, but there are 4 of them, so that's 4 dice. 4 dice, 9 up. Right, that's doable. What are the odds of that? What are the odds of that? I'll tell you. There we go. Nothing. Wow. Oh. Okay. Jimmy the Fist might get out of this alive and he's going to have great fun. Bop, 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 bop. Right now, right, riding right over. Riding roughshod. Riding roughshod over these gentlemen. Oh no! Oh no! It's the denizens. The denizens. Uh, right, these guys, they got range 8. Let's see if they can hit. No. Uh, actually, base to base, yes, base to base, yes, they can, right. Just, just for me, so they get, uh, right, two shots, because there's two of them, power four, armor four, power four, armor four, seven up. Two nines, two hits. Dead! <laughs> yeah, uh, Jimmy the Fist doesn't have any recourse for that, does he? Mutant, free attack, remove, no, no, doesn't get anything. We've lost Jimmy the Fist, I'm afraid. Okay, so basically everyone everyone else is in the car. Um, everyone else is in the car. Uh, it's not over yet, though, I'll tell you that, it's not over that. It's not over yet. Right, let's see who's next. Right, it's the mutants. The mutants are going to drive. Drive, 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 drive. Um, so let's uh, let's have. Oh, sorry, it's not the mutants. What am I talking about? Blah! I'm uh, losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Right, this one. Uh, we've got Eyeball Paul. He's spooked. Master of Ceremonies. He's. Did he go? Yeah. Right, let's have. Hmm. Eyeball pull. There's not really much you can do apart from shoot the car because everyone's inside the car. First action to get rid of spooked. Right. Second action. Uh, power three. And then the armor of the car is four. Power three, armor four. Uh, that's a seven up. Seven up. Has he got a quickie or anything like that? Yeah, so seven up on two dice. 
right one hit all right and then we'll see what happens on the dice so the uh, glory mole has um, what's it called a death plow at the front um, so that's plus two power when crush um, and because it's because it's uh, tracked it also gets crushed instead of ram so basically when I move this way so seven inches we move in seven inches six, seven dun, dun, dun. so basically the other side of these guys Yay. yeah there we go and that means we get we roll 2d 10 plus 2 um, and that is the power of the attack so that's 2d 10 plus 2 that's pretty a lot anyway that's more than 10 so max uh, versus armor like 2 or something yeah so that's basically uh, 3 up so three up. Uh, and that's all of them. So one, two, three, four. This guy, three up. Okay, spooked. So they all get spooked. Next guy. This one. Spooked again. This guy. Six. Crippled. Already crippled, I think. Uh, uh, this guy. A six. Crippled. Still crippled. Okay. Um, but another thing that happens is they get uh, flung away the 10 inches so let's just put them over there blah, blah, blah. they get thrown over there out of the way right okay uh, probably better second action is to drive out the gate is that going to completely up to there is that going to completely get out the gate can we shut the door that'll be the deciding factor the door is shut the mission is complete we have lost big boy we've lost him in the fist two very important assets uh, another reason why big boy is an important asset because Fogly Betty and big boy were in cahoots you know you know what i mean anyway. wow that was fun the story will continue next week watch this space like subscribe comment below bye